I want to state my opinion about something real quick, and then I'll get the fuck away from this topic, because I refuse to add to the billions of fucking videos that currently exist. I am not going to name people, I am not going to name circumstances, I'm going to be talking about the current event of the two groups that have been created. The, there's the group of people that feel that they've been lied and betrayed to, and are upset and frustrated with that, and there's a group of people that see the people that are reacting to the situation in a negative fashion, and saying, what the fuck is the big deal? So you've got a group of people that are upset because of the bullshit that was, that was perpetuated and a group of people that are seeing their reaction as bullshit. We've got these two sides. I want to address the overall thing rather than what it's specific about because I refuse to add yet another fucking video on YouTube that has a name or a user account or, oh, I saw this person on Late Night with David Letterman and they're doing an interview and, oh, it's not really... Who, like, we know. We fucking know, okay? Please stop posting the fucking videos about who they are and who they really are and how they're not real. We fucking know. It's been on for a week. It's been on the national fucking news. It's been covered in other fucking countries. We know. Please stop posting the fucking videos about the fact that it's been revealed. Okay? If I see one more fucking video about this person and who they're not who they said they are, but really here's the truth, I'm gonna reach through my fucking camera and choke you. Stop it. YouTube has space for this. It's been used up and now is overflowing. I have to high step out of my room because there are videos that have rolled onto my fucking carpet talking about this. That's how much shit has come out of my goddamn monitor because people just keep posting it like we all didn't get it the first 9,000 times. Okay. Here's my fucking opinion about the situation. As I said, there are two camps. The first camp are the people that have feel betrayed, hurt, and upset because of this particular circumstance that was revealed to not be true. Now these people are upset because of the fact that they became emotionally invested in somebody and a, cir uh, somebody and a circumstance that was told to them to be real. They were led to believe it. They had no reason to believe that it wasn't true until it got to the point where people were like, well, this particular aspect seems a little bit fishy, or this particular aspect seems to be a bit fishy. But by that time, people were already invested in this person who responded to the comments as if that was them. They perpetuated the story. They perpetuated the bullshit. They responded to people. They made pleas to people. This was an interactive drama, apparently. This has never been done before. But you know what? It's a fucking lie. I have seen tons of people with fucking char characters on YouTube who have come on who have done distinctive characters. Now, one of the big things and one of the big arguments is, oh, well, Stevie Ryan had little Loka, and she had this person, and she had that person, and it was all fake. You know what? the little loca character that she did and all the other characters that Stevie Ryan has done um, they are still being perpetuated as who they are you know she, Stevie Ryan hasn't been on fucking CNN talking about and you know the creators of Stevie Ryan's character Stevie Ryan created her own fucking character and is still doing that fucking character she doesn't have a team of writers creating a story to hook you for the purpose of fucking marketing. Because once again, it comes down to, once enough of you people become addicted to this and see this story and are a part of the story, they move it away from YouTube, get fucking advertisers, and make money. This whole process was simply just to hook you so that you would eventually pay them. That's exactly what the fuck that's about, but I'm getting off the fucking point. The point is that when she created a character, she created it. Renetto is a character. He came out and he did his character, then he came forward and said, Hey, I feel really bad. All you guys actually thought Renetto was real. It's not. I'm really me. There are several people who have been on YouTube who have created characters who have done their own thing. And then there was a big controversy over these people who lied. Now, you know what? That's all well and good. People have created characters. It's a story. Blah, 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 blah. But this one particular circumstance goes well beyond that because this person is using... Uh, this 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 um, this uh, development team is using YouTube and lying to people. And don't fucking tell me about this bullshit about oh well, it's a fucking drama. It's a story. If it was a fucking story, it would not be interactive. When have you ever seen a fucking drama story that's interactive? You don't see it in stage plays. You don't see it in movies. You don't see it on television. Okay, well we're in the internet. We're in the new age where we can interact. Well, you are then lying to people. 
If you have not set the premise so that they understand what they're getting involved in, people become emotionally invested in circumstances like that. When somebody comes on screen and cries because, oh, my boyfriend and I had a fight. Oh, my life's horrible. My parents don't understand me. Help me. I need advice. When you start interacting with people and you start bringing those people into your life, you turn around and you tell them it's all a lie. It's fucking lying. It's not marketing, it's not entertainment, it's bullshit lying. It's exactly what the fuck it is. I don't care what you people have to say about how it was entertaining and we should have known from the beginning of whatever the fuck the bullshit excuses are. The simple fact of the matter is, it was a lie. You want to know why people are upset about this? Because they were lied to. They were lied to. When people turn on the television, they know to expect that it's not true. When people go to the movies, they know to expect that it's not true. When people pick up a fiction book, they know to expect that it's not true. When you go home tonight, or you're, when you go into your living room and you talk to your mom, how would you feel if your mom turned around and go, By the way, Bobby, I'm not really your mom. I'm an actress. You're on TV. I bet you're not allowed to get mad, right? Because you had a personal investment in that circumstance, regardless of how long it went on. It's a show. It's entertainment. It's the internet. It's the new age. Fuck that and fuck the bullshit that goes along with it. It's marketing abusing the user. That's all it fucking is. These people are setting up a circumstance that you help perpetuate to earn money off of it. Once again, this isn't about entertainment. This is about setting up a circumstance so somebody can get paid. That's exactly what the fuck this is. YouTube, when I first came onto YouTube, the only thing that was on there was video blogs. And, you know, people were posting movies and TV clips they weren't supposed to and blah, 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 blah. But the simple fact of the matter is, is that when you went on there, certain assumptions were allowed to be made without hesitation or concern. Those assumptions are, I see a face on there, I see a person sitting behind their, you know, on their bed, talking to the camera, talking about how fucked up life is because mom and dad ground them, or they went to work and got fired, or hey, they just got a promotion, that it was real. This was a person. You were making a connection with a real-life person who was talking about themselves. And at the end of the day, there was no fucking sales angle for it. I will never come on here and go, oh, by the way, uh, you two people, actually, my name's Bob, and I represent Bob's Hardware. Here's a hammer. Come buy my hardware. That's why people are fucking upset, because they were lied to. They became emotionally invested in an individual who was telling them that they were, who was telling them this was real. So they were lied to multiple fucking times. There was no indication in the entire story arc that anything there was not real. This was a person who was having difficulty. This was a person who have a person who was having triumph, a person who was enjoying themselves, and a person who was talking to the audience. I don't want to have to second guess everything that I see on there. I don't want to have to second guess my investment in another person because, ooh, maybe they're going to end up selling me a fucking sneaker line in fucking six days. I don't want to have to fucking do that. When I turn on YouTube and I want to watch Endless Joe or I want to watch Donkey June or I want to watch Sean Bedlam or Pipistrello or Zen Archer or any of those other people out there, I don't want to have to wonder exactly how much I should be paying attention and how much should I be looking for the hidden message. How, oh, well, where's the, where's the advertisement? Where's the Coke display? I don't I want to have to do that. I want to sit down, I want to watch, and I want to say, hey, this is interesting. I want to say, hey, this is total crap. I want to say, hey, that's a great idea. That's what the fuck I want to do. I don't ever want to have to fucking think that, oh my god, this is turning into television. And guess what, folks? It is. YouTube is moving away from the community of people sharing stories and ideas about themselves into a marketing campaign. Now, as I said before, YouTube is a company and they want to make money and that's fine they want to have people that are coming on and selling their product that's fine but when you start manipulating and lying to people for the purpose of your fucking product you're fucking scum you're scum you're the worst thing on the fucking planet because you're using people to get something from them you're a fucking using scum and I wish to God I could come to you and burn you with fucking napalm because that's what you fucking deserve you've got no consideration for the people that you're investing in you've got no consideration for the people that are investing in you all you care about is that these people watch get your numbers up so that at the end you can go to an, a marketing company or an advertising company and go look I've got 500,000 viewers every day that click on my shit if you put a banner next to my name, people will click on it, you'll make money. Give me a dollar. Fuck you and fuck your goddamn money. If you don't give a shit about people, get the fuck off the goddamn YouTube. If you're just looking to make money, go to goddamn Google Video. Go to some other website that doesn't have a problem hosting your lies. I'm so tired of seeing you people come on to fucking YouTube and do this. And that's right, this is my fucking opinion. You're gonna still fucking do it. People are still gonna watch your fucking video, but I had to fucking say this. I've had it up to fucking here with the fucking media bullshit. 
I'm so tired of watching things be corrupted by people's greed and their fucking complete lack of respect for another human being. Those people out there that watched that person were emotionally invested in that person. It hurt them to find out that they were lied to. So if you try and justify that kind of pain with the words, oh, well, it was just a story and it was a drama and it was for entertainment, then I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to hit you with a piece of rebar multiple times about your head and neck. And while you're laying there bleeding, I'm just going to go, it was just a love tab, I was just trying to show you affection. You don't understand that the violence I infected uh, infect upon your person was nothing more than just my way of showing you funny haha. -ha. So you better shut the fuck up when I'm beating you with a blunt object. Because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to ignore your feelings. I'm going to ignore how the it affects you. I'm going to ignore the way you feel about it. Because at the end, I can just say, it was a story. My story about beating you about the head and neck. I'm not really violent, but I beat you anyway. So if you're on YouTube and you're a fucking user and you're making videos for people to appreciate about you, I say thank you. If you're a scum-sucking lowlife on YouTube, trying to make money by manipulating people through your bullshit, and you're, and you're wondering why people are reacting like, oh my god, you're a fucking liar, wake up and smell the reality. You're scum, we know you're fucking scum. Get the fuck off of YouTube and go advertise your shit somewhere else. That's pretty much all I want to say about this. I, I, I'm so fucking uh, uh, infuriated by this fucking marketing machine that's just marching through here and using people that I can't even fucking talk straight. I'm sick and tired of it. Just get the fuck off of the YouTube and go sell shit fucking door to door. Get a real job and stop using people.